There's a bit of a, a brutal attack that happened in Lynn, Massachusetts. And those officers that were caught on that bystander footage are now facing uh, some charges after they punched this woman relentlessly on the floor with her as her head was bouncing off the ground there. And the police have responded to this whole thing, but they said people don't know the full story. You don't get it, bro. She had warrants, bro. She had warrants. And that's the reason apparently to do this. So uh, she, uh, as they approached her, she was talking to them at first and got increasingly more frustrated and agitated. And as she points out here, afraid. But that was before they started attacking. Let's watch this. Um, Jessica, let's go. Sir. Grab your sneak and let's go. Like got an on my arm. Arm. I don't have an answer. What's that on your wrist? You got you're bleeding from your wrist. No, I got cut. I don't you have got cut, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I did. Just go, let's go. Yeah, sir. No problem. Grab your sneaker. I'm feeling a little nervous. Can you okay. talk to me? Right. You're in the doorway. I don't want to. I, Grab I your shoe. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Why are you pushing me around? Jessica, put no, your hand behind scared. your back. I'm scared. I'm so Put scared. your hands behind so your back. Scared. Come on. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Jessica, you're going to get her. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Please. Please. Please don't. Put your hands so behind your back. No. 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 Stop. Makes you wonder what's the purpose of any of the other things that they were doing. The pepper spray was deployed, and it was almost like a, a you know a, a a build up to the punches that came later. Uh, she's agitated. They uh, they probably presume that she's on some kind of substances. Maybe she's having a mental health episode. Whatever those may be, I'm not sure why. Even if you're on an illegal substance, that that then requires aggression and a ramping up of anger that then how does someone comply when they're getting punched in the face? Natural human reaction is to stop your face from getting punched. It's just weird. But you go, yeah, punch me three more times, then I'll chill out. How do you chill out from that particular uh, attack? Um, so in this video, these officers uh, has been, were seen hitting, arresting this 39 year old Jessica Waggle uh, at a rooming house after she refused to leave one of those rooms. Please say that the video was taken out of context. <laughs> She, uh, uh, she's now facing charges of assault and battery on a police officer resisting arrest and disorderly conduct. And the woman who witnessed this whole thing said it was quite shocking because then this is what happens. When are we gonna get the, uh, when is the community gonna start backing police officers? When they see stuff like this, they say things like this. People that live here are citizens, we are civilians. We are not cockroaches in the street where people can just terrorize us and abuse us. That's what the bystander said, because she's probably concerned about her safety now too. If you see folks run up in a place, get mad within seven to 10 seconds and start beating on this uh, woman, then you might wonder what else they may do. It's crazy. I'm sorry, defund yesterday, defund today, defund tomorrow. You will not get me off of the defund the police train. I'm sorry, it's just not gonna happen because every single day we get more and more body cam footage, which body cams, not stopping any of this brutality, mm -hmm. not stopping anyone from getting their face punched in when they were literally calmly speaking to officers at the door. A slight woman who is a fraction of the size of these massive officers, move this money, stop it. You don't answer calls anymore, you don't do traffic stops anymore. You have lost the right to actually patrol our streets and our communities. You've lost the right. I'm sorry, there, there, there could be a few things you could do. You could do perp walks, yay. Do a couple <laughs> things, right? Only in the case of someone's already dead. How about that? So you don't kill other people. But other than that, I'm just, I, I, it's, it's too much to handle. Um, I, and reform doesn't work, guys. The body cam was a reform. We need a plan to move this money. There have to be consequences, otherwise they keep doing it. I want you guys to notice and sometimes these factors that lead to these things. You know, we always hear, and the reason why there's folks who support the thin blue line and all that, a lot of times I think their mindset is based off of, well, those are minorities. These are folks that I don't associate with, that I don't really like. And therefore, if they get beaten for whatever reasons or shot unnecessarily, that's fine because that's no skin off of me, right? Cool. Uh, but then it's whenever say someone's on some kind of substance or maybe someone has a, 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 a mental health episode, all these things that you would feel you're not relating to, 
they can always come from someone else. Believe me, you know someone that's done illegal substances. Trust me, you have. Uh, you know people who have mental health uh, issues. And then if that happens to those people that you know and potentially love, then is that when you kick in and care about this whole thing? Because they'll keep coming for you. Because the point is the aggression. And they think that's the answer to every kind of conflict. You can still talk to her. She can be extremely annoying. She can go, no, I don't want to go with you. And you can keep talking. It's weird how that can possibly work. But the answer is attack. And then call her uh, a, a resisting arrest. Resisting attack.